Hello, today we're going to talk about managing Windows uh, users, groups, and file permissions. To begin with, let's take a look at our control panel and go to Administrative Tools. Once there, we're going to open up Computer Management where we can see a list of our local users and groups. This process will be basically the same in any business, enterprise, or ultimate edition of Windows from XP forward. So once we get this open, Let's go to Users, and you'll see that I've already created several users on this system. In addition to the machine users, we have uh, Bad Guy, Crook, Students, and Trusted. And then we have several groups. Most of these are Windows Managed, but I have created Trusted Users and Untrusted. So let's take a look at that, and you'll see the Trusted Users group contains the Users, Students, and Trusted. You can click Add to add more, so we can add the call. So now that we have those, I click Apply and close that down. And Untrusted Users has the member Bad Guy in it already. So let's add Crook from our users list. Click Check Names to verify it's typed in correctly. Click OK. So there we have our untrusted users. Now that we've established these groups, we can set individual permissions. And if you need to know how to set up your own group, it's simple. You just right-click, click New Group, and then you add names just as we just did. So now that we've looked over how to manage our groups and users, let's see what we can do with that information. And to do that, we're going to go to our local drive, which is Drive C, and I've created a Documents folder and populated it with a little bit of files and folders as payroll and vacation lists. Also it's important to note that if you're in Windows XP as I am you're going to need to go to Tools, Folder Options, View. Make sure that Use Simple File Sharing is not checked because if it is checked you will not be able to see what I'm about to show you. And that is right click, click Properties and open the Security tab. As you can see this folder has some pre-established privileges that are inherited from other accounts in the system has the creator owner privileges, the administrator privileges, the student account, everyone, etc. But we're going to create some specific accounts. We're going to add and we're going to tap in the name of our group which was untrusted. Check names, OK. Since this group is untrusted, we're going to deny all. They have no access to this system. So let's click Apply. And it reminds us that um, deny will supersede any allow that is already available for those users, which is fine. So we click OK. And let's say on vacation list, we're going to go to Properties, Security, this one we're going to allow trusted users and we're going to allow them to read and execute list folder contents and read only. We're not going to allow them to modify or write to this file. We just want to be able to see it. So let's click apply. Click OK. Now we'll need to see if that worked, and to do that I'm going to have to switch users. So let me s do that real fast, and we'll come back to the video in just a second. Okay, so now as you can see, I've logged back on as my Crook account. And let's go to my computer and see if my privileges have worked. So we'll go to Documents, which we set no privileges for. We get into Payroll, which we did not access for. And as you can see, it worked completely the way we wanted it to. They cannot access this directory. Notice they can still see the Payroll directory, and that's because we didn't set any specific privileges for Documents. If we wanted them to not see the Payroll directory at all, we'd have to set the privileges on Documents and un or disallow them the ability to list the contents of this folder. So remember that your 
privileges do stack on top of each other and because of this things can sometimes get a little bit confusing so you need to ensure that you test your privileges by making yourself a new account that's a member of the group and just verifying that everything works the way you wanted it to okay for our last demonstration let's take a look at our trusted user permission set so let's go back once again to my computer then to C documents vacation list if we set this correctly we should be able to read this document since we are now a trusted user you can see I'm logged in as trusted who's a member of the trusted users group so let's make some changes here and say trusted gets 40 weeks vacation we go to save that and it won't allow us to the reason why is that we simply don't have permissions as a matter of fact it won't even allow us to change the file name because we don't have permissions for that either so now you can see why and how permissions are useful for locking down your file system and for allowing and disallowing all manner of access through your files using Windows, users, groups, and files permissions.